Alrighty, it's Monday, February 27th, it's 10 o'clock, and it's time for Comments X. Well, the burnout weekend is more or less over, and it's time to get back to work. Uh, so much fun. Being burnt out over the weekend is due to a lot of sleep deprivation that goes on so I'm starting to cycle all over again uh, I'll be pushing myself until the next crash and burn crash and burn is crash burn reset that's basically my vacation so basically uh, one day I crash and then it takes me a, d a day to burn and then there's the reset so if you see on my twitter crash burn reset that's what's happening um, uh, a lot of the video, I'm going back to a lot of the video editing again, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, and this is more specific to my, uh, Ubuntu, uh, BSD Unix talk show and the, uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics and the other channels I'm working on. Excuse me. <sighs> For some reason, I seem to be yawning all the time when I'm on here. Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. All the shows here, uh, I stated on the on the Unix show uh, that uh, I'm doing it from a developer's perspective, and particularly in open source. And this sort of coincides with. Uh, what I'm doing here on Big Bang Theory RL, because this is Big Bang Theory RL is the behind the scenes for all the different shows, for all the different research, everything that sort of goes on, you'll see bits and pieces of it as it goes through. I'm still working on the on the Freegan Hall uh, video. Uh, I'm having problems with the lighting. As it because of a Freegan, uh, nothing is new. Uh, everything is either taken out of the garbage or refurbished or gotten in that type of manner so it's things always have to be worked with in order to get it to be working properly or or on a somewhat of a professional level and that's sort of the issues that I'm working out now with my new with my quote unquote new HD camera um, which is somewhat refurbished I got it from my, from one of my refurbished suppliers, who's pre they're pretty good. It comes with a three-year uh, uh, warranty that if anything happens to it and absolutely dies, I can get a new one, so I can get it replaced. Uh, but I basically got this HD camera. It's an it's an eighty uh, to a hundred dollar HD camera. That's seven twenty p. I got it for about thirty bucks because I I think it was either overstock or there was something s slightly wrong with it uh, that they had repaired and so I got it for about thirty dollars uh, so I have but the problem that I'm having with this camera is that it shows you one brightness on the screen in terms of the lighting for the camera but when it comes down to the video editor and where do you, how you post the videos the brightness levels uh, aren't the same, so I have to get down there. Uh, I have to get down to the nitty gritty and just figure out how to bring up the, the uh, brightness, the contrast, really uh, improve the picture quality uh, through a, through processing, video processing, rather than simply having uh, a good quality image uh, in terms of its brightness come through on the camera. So that's one of the challenges uh, that I'm working on. So, and then in the, in the back, where I process all the uh, freegan stuff, is not bright enough uh, uh, to film back there to take it, to do any videos. So, I've got to figure out how, a way to sort of uh, get it bright enough so I can film. So, you can see the uh, freegan hall uh, when I, you know, as I'm trying to videotape it. And 
because uh, Freegan goes hand in hand with open source, this sort of feeds into um, uh, the uh, the um, the the Linux uh, the Linux show. Uh, the Linux show is which is the same thing as the Unix show, which is the same thing as the Ubuntu show, which is the same thing as the BSD show. They're all different names for the same. Uh, platform uh, and give you an idea uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about in terms of a platform Mac OS is one platform Windows is one platform um, and Linux BSD uh, Unix uh, Ubuntu uh, the whole grouping there is all one platform So, uh, but that one platform that I'm in is primarily open source. And open source is developed in the community without, uh, as I said, they're not sort of, they, they, they don't really work together the way you would if you were in professional software crew. So, if you're not working together the way you would in a professional what the, a professional software firm provides that you don't really get in uh, open source is a strong structured overview of what's actually going on and this is this is you know uh, can be seen in the differences between uh, Sony Vega and uh, the video editors that you get on open source which for the most part uh, well, they had looked promising, and, and this one girl uh, on YouTube, this one YouTuber, uh, she had done a really good job uh, with it, and she was doing uh, a lot of open source tutorials. Nixie Pixel uh, is her is her channel, and in 2008, 2009, she was really gung ho on Caden Live and compared it to Sony Vega, the Sony Vega Pro. Uh, video editing program she was still positive on it but not as positive in 2010 and her latest video in 2012 is giving up the ghost and on on Caden Live saying that uh, the open source does not at this point in time well promising does not uh, stack up to the professional video editors so this is actually going to be my first project uh, in uh, open source and for on the uh, for the, my Linux show, which is uh, uh, and rather than being a Linux review show, uh, it's Linux from the developers or an open source developers point of view. And right now I'm in the overview process, looking at the overall product and seeing, okay, what needs to be done, and part of the Freegan or so the Freegan section of this is that all the videos that are being produced here are being produced in open source uh, product. It's, everything is open source. So when you get down to, and you have a problem and you want something to come out like Sony Vega Pro or Final Cut 10 or, or, or whatever, you know, or Final Cut, whatever version you have that's, you know, the latest version, you have to sit down and really uh, you, you, you call it somewhat, it's somewhat debugging, but you actually have to, to really learn the system because it doesn't come right out of the box. There isn't a button to press and an effect will appear. Uh, things really have to be worked out. But the thing is, I don't know whether or not, and this is uh, that, the which is steeper the learning the learning code the the learning curve for learning the program video editing or the learning curve on programs like Final Cut or Sony Vega or even Adobe Premiere so the question is here and the thing is can I produce a reasonable product 
and from what I'm seeing, for what I've seen around the other channels, I can't. It just in, in terms of the standard show, stand, standard shows, I'm not doing a bad job at it. Uh, there are some problems I'm having in terms of what's appearing that are more on the lines that I still need to get a better handle on video editing, but uh, I don't see, uh, in terms of time-wise, in terms of the quality that's being produced, that Caden Live and the other open source editors, you couldn't on an open source uh, desktop uh, like uh, Linux or like uh, Kubuntu, why you couldn't produce something of the same quality that you would get in Sony Vega, Final Cut, or Adobe Premiere. So this is where things are going to go for the shows now. I'm still, uh, I've gotten uh, one chunk of the problem that was sort of halting the next episodes uh, in in the uh, the Linux show and the first episode of the uh, uh, cyborgs and said my dad that's been resolved now I've got to get down to and start doing it today I'm gonna to start my if I'm aiming for I realize that if I'm aiming for production on uh, a, a production release on Friday Saturday but I have to begin the production process uh, on Monday that it takes an entire week to put together a half hour show and this sort of gives you an idea of some of the time involved in uh, uh, producing a video that if you, you you have not only the filming but you need to do the editing uh, you have to lay out everything has to be laid out and I don't know whether yet I'm gonna see th this is a, a one of the problems I still have to really kind of figure out when you're doing something along the lines of science or computer science or anything in that area there you're not supposed to in your lab books and I'm trying to keep this as much as possible lab oriented in terms of, you know, keeping things kind of authentic and realistic. In the lab environment, you're not supposed to erase or limit or eliminate y your mistakes. They're supposed to be visible. Which means that the editing that I do on the videos needs to be at a minimal level. And for this program here, for Big Bang Theory RL, uh, this is where I do all the practicing for speaking, uh, for my mannerisms on video, uh, to get my thoughts correct. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, I mean, when you see someone in cam uh, on camera and they misspeak, a lot of people, until you get to the, into the position where you're behind the camera, don't realize how incredibly difficult it is when you're on camera to collect your thoughts and then get them out properly and this is th this is even worse uh, for people like myself who do an enormous amount of reading and writing because previous to this previous to uh, Big Bang Theory RL and this is something I still have to work on most of my conversations and thoughts are totally internal they're within the mind and don't have to be spoken they just may have to type out and when you're writing an essay uh, when you're writing an essay it's the essay doesn't have to come out immediately it's not on the fly and on the spot without any corrections uh, usually an essay or a paper takes several drafts and can take up to a week to produce. So when you're trying to produce a paper, and this is your thoughts coming out here now, everything is instantaneous. It has to be on the fly. So this requires a whole new pattern of thought. The way you think about things has to be much quicker the way you bring in your words, I mean, you, you, you can't run to a thesaurus or back to a dictionary to see what terms you want to use. I mean, when I'm writing, a, and this, this, is, this is true more for my Greek than it is for my English, uh, my Greek, in terms of my speaking, speaking Greek, is so poor that 
basically, if I'm reading Greek out loud, my instantaneous Greek, uh, I read and comprehend at a grade three level. But if I'm writing a paper and need to do a word search, not, or not a word search, a study a word, let's say I'm studying Imon, this study, because it can take up to six months or even up to a year to do that work, it's not instantaneous. You, 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 can, you can sit down, you can look at the dictionaries, you can take your time. There, there's no pressure to come up with an immediate comprehension. And so the research side of things, in terms of what you have to produce immediately, is a lot easier than if you have to come out and say things immediately. And so this is where a, a large chunk of Big Bang Theory comes, big, big, the Big Bang Theory RL comes in, is this is my practice to sort of retrain my brain, retrain my mind in connection, uh, so that thoughts flow a lot easier from my mind and through my brain and into, uh, out through my mouth and into uh, <laughs> the real universe. So now that uh, the, so the editing side of the thing is, is, is sort of resolved, uh, I will be starting producing more videos. Hopefully the, ep the episodes uh, of the web shows, uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics, and the uh, Ubuntu uh, BSD Unix et al. will, uh, should come out this Friday. And this is what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to do a Freegan Hall for Big Bang Theory RL uh, sometime this week. And I'm also going to do as a practice, I'm going to try to do a room tour. Uh, these are one of the things that I like. I, I've, I've walked, as mentioned this before, that I really do enjoy the room tours. Uh, I, my, my, the, the top blogs that I like, the blog, blogs I like, the, sort of the, sort of the YouTube channels that I like the best are the vlogs where I get to see you personally around and your, what you're thinking about, and the uh, room tours, those are the, my two favorites. Others are uh, are for the down. I don't I don't really care too much about skits. Um, singing can be nice, but my preferences are the room tours and the vlogging. That's where uh, I really seem to enjoy things. So. Uh, I will be trying to get a room tour out this week as well. Uh, in terms of this, see these these uh, comments. Why all the comments? Why will be video edited? It will be uh, using the HD camera, uh, and it's going to sort of going to help me uh, practice for uh, developing the documentaries that should be coming out. I should. I'm aiming to produce in a, a, one documentary this month. That's what the goal is now for this month is to produce one documentary. If I can get the one documentary out, and it's going to be on the calendars, particularly on uh, focusing on the Mayan calendar and astronomical calendars, because this is 2012, uh, it's not going to be an all-encompassing show in terms of that's going to be the last documentary. It should be an introduction to the series that will be coming out. Uh, I'm working on, I'm getting a lot of the uh, research done for it. Now it's a matter of, a matter of putting together the research and sort of uh, laying out uh, a video timeline so I can produce this into a video, into a video, into, into a series of documentaries. Uh, if you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see, on 2012, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, you can also comment on my uh, Physics TV uh, page. You can comment on the Big Bang Theory Alt page. I, I will respond in these videos, in particularly in uh, the comments X, to comments. Any comments that are left on the YouTube channel or on the Facebook pages, I will comment here. Uh, this is where, what I'm going to be doing from now on. Uh, and rather than responding back and writing, I will be commenting here. Uh, if I talk about your comment and you actually have a YouTube channel, I will place a uh, link to your YouTube channel down below. I have done 
for the channel, uh, I've changed how I've done my subscription th uh, policy. I will do now uh, on a regular basis uh, as a standard policy, uh, what we call sub for sub. Uh, and then for every decade, and that's 10, 20, 30, 40 in terms of my subscribers, and then centuries is the 100, 200, 300. So once I get up to, uh, once I get past the decades and into the centuries, uh, the policy is un until I get into the centuries right now, for every decade, uh, whoever, I whoever gives me my 10th, 20th, 30th, and so on and so forth, uh, sub will get a link in my description you'll see that that link will stay there all the time as 10 20 30 but you'll also get for one month uh in my other channels on the page there if you uh, look further below on the uh, right hand side uh you will see as you're looking down below here uh you will see uh something called other channels and in the other channels you will get the top spot for one month so one channel already uh, has got the 10th spot. Uh, it's February now, uh, or the end of February. So basically at the end of March, March 31st, that uh, person's channel will be coming off of there and, so, uh, and somebody new, if I've gone to 20 by that time, uh, will be on there. If there's not anyone for after that, I will take off the person's uh, thing and I will just be blank. Uh, but basically, uh, the the deal is uh, every decade, uh, whoever lands on that, whoever is that sub for that decade, uh, will receive uh, their YouTube channel featured on my page. Okay, so that's the that's the uh, my YouTube policy. This is uh, sort of how I'm going to deal with all the YouTubers on here. Uh, we can all more or less hang out together and sort of chit chat through. Uh, uh, our uh, videos. Uh, I will continue uh, commenting on the videos as I uh, video channels as I sort of t as I uh, stroll through the YouTube channels. Uh, that will come out, and there will be a little description there that says talk about and shout outs, uh, and you will see uh, in there when I'm doing talk abouts and shout outs, you will see. Uh, the link to the page I was talking about. And even if I don't name the page uh, specifically, that was had to do with uh, the room tour. I couldn't remember the person's uh, name at the time when I was doing it and saying about, talking about it. So I simply uh, put a link in the down in the description uh, under uh, talk abouts and shoutouts. I talked about her video, the room tour, but never actually said her name. So even if I don't say the name, I'm but I'm talking about a specific video that you have, I will fi remember. I will find uh, who it is and post the uh, link to the to the channel. Anyways, uh, I will see you in a little while as the day gets uh, rolling on further.